एवरीवन आई होप यू आर आर सेफ एंड डूइंग गुड सो इफ यू आर एस्पायरिंग टू वर्क विद इसरो इंडियन स्पेस रिसोर्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन 2026 व्हेन दिस वीडियो इज फॉर यू यस नाउ आई विल टेल यू एन इंटर्नशिप स्कीम थ्रू व्हिच लाइक यू कैन अप्लाई एंड यू हैव अ चांस टू गेट एन इंटर्नशिप एट इसरो यू विल गो देयर यू विल वर्क विद द इसरो साइंटिस्ट एंड इंजीनियर्स अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ दोस साइंटिस्ट एंड इंजीनियर्स हु आर वर्किंग एट इसरो यू विल बी वर्किंग ऑन रियल वर्ल्ड लाइक दोस प्रोजेक्ट्स सो यू हैव टू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड to get the complete detail about this internship and how to apply when to apply the deadline is there any stipend or not and some extra tips also i'll give you to stand out from the crowd right now before that i just want to tell you one thing see obviously internships are playing an important role for even getting placement sometimes you get a ppo for as well and if you are aiming to get an internship in top tech companies or mang companies then you know that specially they focus on dsa in 99% of cases they ask only dsa questions from solving skills and that's it in every round so that's why if you are interested to enhance or to be good in dsa data structure and algorithm then i'm going to start a new batch for my dsa with java course new batch 2.0 batch from 28th of september yes you will get whatever was there in the previous batch in this also complete java complete dsa plus added i have added few extra topics in dsa as well like jdbc connectivity awt java uh, swings and few more topics are there plus advanced projects right plus what extra thing is what you will get resume building support as well because resume is your face while you are applying especially off campus while you are applying okay sometimes your resume even if you know everything but based on your resume you, you will not be shortlisted you don't get an interview call so resume is really important so in this batch you will get that support as well one to one resume building support i'll get i'll uh, you know help you to get tailored your resume according to the jd or whatever job description or for whatever role you are applying plus extra like live doubt resolution support you get every week so if you stuck somewhere you can ask your doubt you can join that live session and you can ask your doubt there i'm here to help you plus a dedicated whatsapp group also with that you can just connect with peers or with me whatever if you have any doubt you can ask on whatsapp also right so it's like i'm just one message away from you in that case you will get my handwritten notes quizzes assignments right ppts plus uh, if you don't know anything about any coding language you don't know coding it's okay because we'll cover from scratch java first then we will start dsa from basic to advanced topics and you will get a completion certificate also and don't worry if you are not interested you think that okay i don't want to continue within 7 days of enrollment you will get your 100% refund no question will be asked lead code question will cover plus projects also will cover many projects during this course so that project you can showcase that will definitely strengthen your resume you can showcase in your resume okay right now whatever i have discussed everything you will get at this price but right now special uh, offer is going on but apart from this you will get extra 20% discount also but that is only for first 500 student so you can apply the coupon code best 500 and you will get on this price extra 20% discount so by applying that coupon code you will get around 10000 right now if you are interested you can go and check out the link in the description box of this video i'll put everything about the course in the description box you can go and check out now let's go back to this internship scheme so this is uh, in indian institute of remote sensing uh, see there are many centers of isro i'll tell you at the last of this video if you are not interested in the center or in another center if you want to apply you want to search is there any internship or such kind of opportunity available or not you can go there and you can check out how you can check out for other centers that also i'll tell you but for this now that this link i'll put in the description box of this video you go and check out this is in dehradun so this is external student internship this will start from january so it's like a winter internship first of january 2026 the last date to apply for this is 31st of october but apply as soon as possible don't wait till the last date now who are eligible for this for this internship scheme second is because there are two student engaging programs especially in isro first is internship scheme second is student project training scheme based on the eligibility based on the whatever uh, you are pursuing the you can say the duration is different so i'll tell you everything 
Now, who can apply for these eligibility criteria is any UG, PG student or PhD students can apply. Streams can be science or technology. Okay. For internships, duration of internship uh, work will be minimum period of 45 days. And the CGPA would be at least 6.3, at least 60% aggregate till now. Second, for the student project training scheme, this is offline. You need to go there. It's not in online mode. What is the eligibility criteria? Those, those who are pursuing B or B Tech engineering should have completed their sixth semester. Then only you can apply. Uh, if you're in first year, second year, you, can, you can't apply for this. And for this, the minimum is, uh, duration is 45 days. For MEM Tech, should have completed first semester and duration for those are uh, 120 days. For those who are pursuing BSc or diploma, only final year students can apply in that case. And duration is minimum 45 days. For MSc students, uh, complete their first semester, same duration is 120 days. And for PhD who are pursuing PhD, you should have completed your coursework. And the duration for you is 30 months. Okay, 30 months for PhD students. Right. Now, these are some general information. Uh, you can just read out. There is nothing like special here. One thing I just want to tell you is uh, what? You will be confirmed on the mail itself. But if you are not selected, then you will not be informed. Right. And you need an NOC, no objection certificate or recommendation from your college or institute or academic documents also. You need to upload while you are applying for the application. At that time only, you need to upload all your documents. So please prepare or get ready with all your documents. Okay, before setting and start applying for this, you have with you your NOC recommendation uh, letter from the college or your ac academic documents, everything scanned so that you can upload easily. And uh, the application for this is submitted twice a year. For now, the last date is 31st of October, but it's okay if you will not get selected. Next year also you can try. The last date would be uh, 31st March of every year. So you can apply for that. You can try for that. And you have to send, you have to apply only online applications will be submitted. No, you don't have to send through mail, uh, through post or registered mail, something like this. Okay. Uh, yes, no stipend will be given to you in this case. And uh, it's okay. Like uh, they will not provide you any accommodation as well. Yeah. That is like a little bit, uh, you can say, for some students, it's a negative point that they're not providing any stipend or accommodation. But what you will get, the experience, the exposure, the kind of project work you are working there. Okay. That and you can say that experience, the certificate you will get after completion. Those are highly valuable. How to apply? You just click on this apply now. And there you have, you will get five, six steps and you need to. Uh, enter uh, all your details first here you need to log in first right after that some personal details some address details educational uh, details some other details you have to upload your photo id documents and signature and then select course while you are selecting course then uh, there i think one option is there you have to select this external student internship because for this program under this program you are applying so external student internship there is no fee you don't need to pay anything Right, it's not that much tough to fill this application for. I guess if you if you are filling this and if you are facing any difficulty, you can just let me know in the comment section. Right. So the link you will get in the description box. You will want to check out. If you are facing any difficulty, you can just let me know in the comment section. Okay. Now, uh, what extra thing I want to tell you is, uh, at one place only you can get all the link of all the ISRO centers, and if there is any opportunity for internship or any other thing, you can apply there. So what you need to do for that, just you have to go on Google and you have to search what ISRO DOS internships like this. ISRO DOS internship and just click on the first link. Here you will get same uh, internship as student project training schemes, but you will get a link of all the uh, websites from all the centers like you are Rao Satellite Center, Bangalore, Space Application Center, Ahmedabad, and see whatever I have discussed in this lecture here, the Indian Institute of Remote Sensing, Dehradun. Okay, so in which center there is a possibility or there is a, you can say that uh, opening, you go and check out one by one, just click on all the links and uh, you will be redirected to the page. If there is any link, if there is any internships or such kind of thing is available, you will get to know here. See, for this, 
the portal is now closed because uh, we have exceeded the number of applications that can be processed for the window 1st October to 31st of December 2025. This window will reopen on 1st November 2025. In November, for internship during 1st January to 31st of March 2026 for winter, in, winter internships. So you keep checking. If you are interested to go in ISRO, you keep checking these uh, this link. So like this, you keep checking this website time to time so that if there is any latest uh, information available regarding internship, you have the idea for that so that you can apply early. Now, what you need to take care is first thing is uh, maintain your grade. You should, I mean, if your grades are good, that will showcase that yes, you are a good student. So grades matter your CGPA matters try to maintain that second thing is your skills uh, if you have done some mini projects kind of like on coding or on simulations or some lab work or kind of that image processing or any AI project you have done so you have to mention that in your resume right try to align your work with the work kind of work ISRO does regarding to electronics or image processing or uh, you know uh, remote sensing like that so, if you have such kind of projects, include that project in your resume. And in some cases, suppose uh, you are writing personally a mail. So, emails also you can apply here. That we'll see in a separate video, some uh, separate video. So, there you need to write down a good statement or proposal or you can say the cover letter. So, there you should have the clarity what you want to learn, why you are applying for specifically that uh, project or at that center only, how you can contribute in that project or at ISRO. So you should be very clear about that. There should be a good statement or the cover letter. And always prepare your documents early. Don't wait for the last day. Whatever is required sometimes like NOCs or transcripts or recommendation letter from your HOD, kind of that bona fide certificate. So always prepare your documents early before applying. Okay. Now, I guess this will help you. So uh, that's it for this lecture. I will see in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.